everybody. I'm speaking to you in the summer of 2014, and here in Santa Cruz, we are now in the midst of a terrible drought, and we are one of the cities in, and water districts in the state of California that has imposed mandatory rationing. And we got a warning letter at my house that said that last year you used so much water in the summer that if it were this year, we would be fining you for how much water you used. And so my wife and I took that seriously and we decided to cut back on our water use. We did it carefully, but now my wife's been asking me, have we overdone it? Can, we do, uh, can I do a little bit more water use? And so I thought I'd show you the math because it's pretty straightforward, but it gives us a sense of how to use water conversions, which is an important part of um, studying water and understanding water math. And so let's take the uh, information from my own household use. A year ago in June, I used 11 units of water. And remember um, that from our water conversion sheet that a unit of water is 748 gallons or 100 cubic feet of water. And so I used 11 units in the month of June a year ago and this year I used three units. And so we, or I should say we used three units. And so the question then is, how many gallons per day did we cut back? And uh, what does that mean for our water use um, that we dropped from 11 units a year ago to three units this year? So this is a simple water conversion, but it makes the point about how to do conversions and change from one uh, one unit to another. So let's start uh, with uh, the basics of the question. A year ago, I used 11 units of water, and this year, three units. And so let's now convert these. Our, our goal is to get to gallons of water per day saved. And so we had 11 units of water, in fact, we'll put per month, and three units per month a year later. So first we'll do our conversion, 11 units times 748 gallons per unit. And if we do the math, we get 8,228 gallons. And now the key thing here, and this is true for all the conversions, is that if you have something in the numerator and the same thing in the denominator, you cancel them. And so what used to be units of water is now gallons. That's what's left over. So, um, so the next thing we'll do is the same thing for three. Three units times the exact same conversion, 748 gallons per unit. We'll cancel units. We'll do the math. And that comes to 2,244 gallons. So we have now, all we've done is we've taken this term called a unit, which is um, something you'll find on your water bill. And as long as we're at it, I should also mention that it also is sometimes mentioned as CCF, which is 100 cubic feet of water, but it's also called a unit. Um, and we've just said, if you have 11 units of water, that's equivalent to 8,228 gallons of water. That's all we've done. We haven't changed the actual physical amount of water. So now, and you'll find this with all these math conversion problems, it goes from somewhat complicated, which is done, to really simple. And so the next thing we're going to do is find out the difference. So we'll just simply say 8228 minus 
2, 2, 4, 4. And that gives us 4, 8, 9. So that's 5,984 gallons is how much water my wife and I saved comparing last June to this June that just passed. And so then the last part of this question is, what does that mean in terms of gallons per day? Well, there, this was gallons per month. And so let's take 5,984 times, and, and that's, um, that's gallons per month times one month divided by 30 days. And what that gets us is 200 gallons per day. So my wife and I saved that last year to this year 200 gallons per day. Now, if you think about it, how could somebody save that much water month, year, year on year in the same month? And there's a really easy way to figure that out. We have some outdoor gardens. And what we did was we stopped watering. And so the, we, to, we said we're just not going to have beautiful flowers like we like to have because we're in a terrible drought. We're not going to water this year. And it saved us a whole lot of water. And so I would be able to tell uh, Mrs. Haddad that uh, we certainly have some extra water to use for other purposes because we're well below what uh, uh, the city would like us to be using. And so we're in good shape and we're doing our water duty here in the drought.